dramatic difference in technology over the last 25 years. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. So here's what the Fort Worth tornado looked like on radar back in March 28, 2000. This is what we would call a velocity scan. So what this does is it measures the wind speed and the wind direction. And when you get this very bright blue and bright red very close together like this, this is an indication of very strong rotation. So there's the hook echo of the supercell in Fort Worth. There's the rotation that matches up with it. Here's a look at that tornado track. It first touched down in the River Oaks area of Fort Worth, kind of a, on the like west northwest side of where downtown is. Then it tracked to Castleberry High School right here. You can actually see the football field. So it started jogging southeast. It crossed the Trinity. And then after it crossed the Trinity, it made a pretty hard right turn. Uh, due east into downtown Fort Worth, where obviously we saw a lot of that damage there from that. This was on the ground for 10 minutes. It was a four mile track before it lifted just before getting to I-35W, 250 yards wide.